We've got the Washington Commanders, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, going to the Jerry World in Dallas. Cowboys are 11-point favorites. 49 is the over-under in this one. Interesting matchup here. You've got a Cowboys team that's been riding really hot. You've got a Commanders team that they didn't even have water in their in their locker room last game. Wait, um, what? What happened with water? FedEx Field. The Commanders couldn't even shower after their last game. Oh, the Jesus. That's awful. So you got that is awful. Coming that's into Jerry World. Yeah, exactly. That's so awful. 11 points here. Uh, 49 is the over-under. Ben, how do you see this one unfolding? I think this is a classic game where the Cowboys look like they could beat the entire league and just go out there and win like 45 to 10. I think they're going to destroy the Commanders. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of false hope given to Cowboys fans, which is always hysterical to see, always a fun time. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see the Cowboys losing this one. Um, I don't really see them winning a close one either. I think the Cowboys are just going to demolish them. I think Pollard getting his first touchdown in weeks was huge for him. Definitely a big confidence boost. And Hey, I mean, Dak's had games this year where he's looked amazing. He's had games where he's looked yeah. horrible. I think this is going to be one of those amazing games. And I think the Cowboys are just, I think you're going to destroy him. I don't think it's close. Jason, you know anything on this one? Uh, last time the Commanders and Cowboys matched up on Thanksgiving, it was 41-16 to and uh, three touchdowns at 115 yards, but that's just not happening this year, and I'm going to go with the Cowboys. The Commanders, even though I like Howell's game, I think he's underrated. I think he's a really good quarterback, and he's just in a tough situation. I think Rivera's gone after this year, but the Cowboys are going to, like Ben said, one of those games where they just look like one of the best teams in the league. They're still going to lose in the playoffs, but they're going to take first the round book it. They'll lose in the first round. They'll take the Thanksgiving game though. No, uh, three touchdown, 150, 15 yards. Antonio Gibson this year. Yeah. Happen. These are, these are the games that are actually important to the Cowboys. You know, like the meaningless primetime games This is what they live for. So <laughs> they're going to go out there and rip it apart. Uh, Jerry will think that they're going to win the Super Bowl, and then they just won't. So pretty much. Sal, you got anything on this one? Yeah, I mean, I still can't hear Jason, so I don't know what he said. What did Jason say? Yeah, uh, essentially, he talked about how the Cowboys are going to destroy the Commanders. That's and basically the line's what eleven. We said Aiden. The line's eleven. Yeah, I'll I'll take the Commanders with the points. I want to. Oh, I'm going to see horrible, them here. horrible coming off a tough horrible. loss with the Giants. You're an idiot. Good I know morning. Tommy DeVito kind of messed their shit up, but. I always think the Cowboys are due for one of those flukes, and we've seen it before. They did it with the Cardinals. I think this is just like another one where I, they'll probably still come out and win, you know, just because it's Thanksgiving and whatnot. That's what they do, the Cowboys. But Commanders will cover. That's my uh, that's my take. Yeah, I think that's horrible. I would not listen to him. Yeah, we'll horrible. See, we'll see. Um, it's horrible. So I I I see where you're coming from there. Um, one of the things I do want to say is, you know, the Commanders are a team that. They could put up a lot of points, you know, pretty easily, or they could stink it up. You know, they weren't phenomenal against the Pats. Definitely weren't good last week. But uh, they ripped the Pats apart. Yeah, but how many points did they score? Oh, it, it was like a, it was like a they, garbage. It was like a garbage. Well, I mean, game, right? Given we What's suck, it? given we suck, the ball kept going over our heads, and they kept making plays. Yeah, so that's all I remember from that game. We, we also good. just don't count. Like we're just not. That's true. That's true. We're not, we're not a good franchise anymore. We're like we're it, like it the average Joe's gym of uh, the NFL right now. Just awful. It hurts. To Just say, awful. But uh, to this game, so I do think I agree. I think 11's a lot. I think 11's a lot of points. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I I think I like this over over 49 points more than I like the Packers lines over. Just because I don't think the Packers. Um, I don't trust them to score as much as I trust the commanders to just run up the score, you know, even if it's in garbage time, whatever it is. Um, Sam Howell is good. Um, you know, he's been showing what he could do. The thing with that, too, that helps the over is the fact that, you know, Howell can throw three picks like he did last right. week and right. give Cowboys good field. So that helps with the over as well. So I like plus 11. Don't love it. I, I love the over here. Um, if I had to give out a pick here, that's probably what I would say. And I do want to touch on one thing too. What do we think about the Cowboys moving forward? Are they legit? Or, or I know you mentioned they're going to be out first, first round. Yeah. Is, changing? Is there yeah. any way their performance down this stretch will change how you think the Cowboys outlook of their season goes or the Cowboys? No. Cowboys? no. And the reason is the reason that is because 
they've essentially had the same team since Micah got drafted. So they've essentially had the same team. They um, they haven't made any major improvements. If anything, they added a head coach who's not equipped. I know he did it with Rodgers, but that was that was once. And, I mean, then he completely yeah. blew an NFC championship. I don't mm-hmm. think any of them are winners outside of Micah Parsons. I think – I love Dak, but I don't think Dak's a winner. Um, I don't think Mike McCarthy's a winner, regardless of having a Super Bowl. Like, cool, you backed into one. The Steelers were all hurt. I just I don't think the Cowboys yep. are winners, and it's one of those things that no Rogers is actually horrendous in that playoff run. He should get zero credit for that. Um, but on top of that, they're just I don't know the stink around that team, the way that they choke every single year in the playoffs. My opinion of them won't change, will never change until they get a huge playoff win like on the road and actually prove something. So no, I'm kind of done buying into them. <laughs> 